Hey guys, Johnny D here. As you can see, I'm on the road right now, just getting back from dropping off an Uber trip. Uh, you know, I want to talk to you guys and share something with you that's positive about Uber. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff I see is negative about Uber, and quite honestly, I think it's uh, I, I think it's the people putting the videos together. Um, God, that was a rough piece of road right there. Uh, there's a trick to this. I'm going to tell you right now, there is a trick to this, and it's not rocket science. I'm getting a tip on almost every single ride now, uh, and not one, two dollars anymore. I'm getting five, six, seven, eight, ten. So far, my best single tip was forty dollars. Forty dollars for one trip that was about an hour and ten minutes long. Granted, a little bit longer trip. Um, but it's all about the customer. It's all about figuring out what they want and how to make them comfortable without asking. If you ask them, you're blowing it. If you can't judge them when they get in your car, you're blowing it. Um, I've, I've had everybody from college girls to uh, elderly folks to business people to blue collar folks trying to get back and forth to work. You figure out what these people want, you figure out how to make them happy, feel safe, feel comfortable, and enjoy their trip with you. And as you can see, most of them are very generous. Uh, they appreciate what you do for them. You get out and you carry their bags. You, you do what you need to do to make them feel like they were treated special. Like any other service industry, if you're a bartender, or you're a concierge at a hotel or whatever it is, you figure out what you have to do to make these people happy with their stay with you. And sometimes that stay is five minutes. Uh, in fact, this morning I had a ride that was literally a $6 fare and I got a $5 tip on a $6 fare. And it's not because I'm Superman. It's not because I bribe them. It's not because I hold a gun to their head. Give me a tip, give me a tip. No, it's because I just, treat them with respect. I provide them with a fun, safe, comfortable environment while they're with me. And we make small talk if they want to be engaged, if they don't want to be engaged. Apparently I can figure that out, uh, whether they do or they don't. Make them happy, make them feel comfortable, make them feel welcome. Wish them a, a Merry Christmas, wish them a Happy New Year. Uh, tell them to have a wonderful day. Hope they have a, whatever they were talking about. We hope that works out or that doesn't work out or whatever the situation is. It's really simple, guys. Really simple. $40 tip, one ride. $5 tip on a $6 fare. And I've got two other tips today on short little rides that were a $5 tip and a $6 tip. Now, yeah, we still get those rides where you don't get a tip. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you do the best you can. Some folks don't even know to tip you. They're not even aware this is like a service industry. But do your best. Dress appropriately. Make sure your car smells good. It's clean. Make sure you use your head. You greet these people. You thank them. You wish them well. You, you engage them when they want to be engaged. And I'll tell you right now, if they don't want to be engaged, don't engage them because you will not get a tip. If they want to be left alone, they don't want to have to tell you they want to be left alone. They just want you to know it. And a good Uber driver or a good taxi cab driver or a good bus driver will, will figure that out and then start to pick up on those, those little hints and those little tips. If they have to tell you to shut up, you definitely ain't getting a tip. But if you do it and you understand what they want without them having to ask, I will almost guarantee you, you will get a tip every single time. Until next time, guys, be safe out there. Keep your passengers happy.